Hello everybody, I'm Paul Tate and today we are going to be looking at five ways we can get maximum image and footage quality from our DJI Mavic Mini. Let's go. The first tip is when we're taking photographs to shoot at a 4 to 3 ratio. So when we shoot at a 4 to 3 ratio we've got 4000 by 3000 pixels and when we shoot at a 16 to 9 ratio we have 4000 to 2250 pixels. So we're better off at shooting at a 4 to 3 aspect ratio and then later on if we decide we want a 16 to 9 we can always crop 750 pixels off of the height and know it's going to be the same quality as if our drone had taken it in the first place. Now our second tip is that most people are going to want to be shooting at 24 frames a second. Uh, the Mavic DJI however does not give us the option to do this. We do have the option to shoot at 25 frames a second and also 30 frames a second. So when we go to our final editing software it's a good idea that if we shot on 25 frames a second to change our clip speed to 96% of what it would have been then we'll be shooting at 24 frames a second. And if we've been shooting at 30 frames a second we can always go down to 80% speed and this will make sure again that we've hit the 24 frames a second and we're not going to get any jumps in our video. Now I'm going to show you how to deal with this problem in DaVinci Resolve. This is a free piece of software so anyone can do this. I'll include a link on the top right hand corner of the screen now on how to download this software. So what we'll do to start is we've shot this footage at 30 frames a second and if I now drag it onto the timeline uh, we can see it hits our marker here at about 37 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is right click on our footage, go down to clip attributes and then change this to 24 frames a second and uh, what this will do is it will change our frame rate obviously to 24 frames a second so this will automatically change the frame rate to 80% slower and we can see here that our footage is now longer and it will also run smoother. Tip number three, again when we're shooting video I've found that sometimes it can overexpose so I always initially start by dropping the EV or the uh, exposure value down by 0 .0, minus 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.7 and then if needed adjusting it later in our editing software. You can do this by clicking the EV icon in the bottom right hand corner of your phone and dragging to the exposure value you'd like. Now this is particularly important because we can't shoot in RAW. So if we overexpose, it's always hard to lower the exposure than if we underexpose and then bring the exposure up. Tip number four is uh, when we're shooting photography, try to get everything we need in the shot without having to crop it later. So we've got 12 megapixels that function properly on the sensor of our DJI Mavic Mini. And when I started photography about 15 years ago, my first professional camera did actually only have 2.8 megapixels. So you do have some flexibility, but the way things are going now with people taking pictures and wanting larger prints, I wouldn't want to go any lower than 12 megapixels. So try not to crop in your pictures and where possible, use the drone to go backwards and forwards rather than cropping afterwards. Now before we go any further I would just like to mention I am going to be going to Costa Rica with uh, my DJI Mavic Mini and I'm going to be doing an in-depth video of how easy it is to travel with this drone. So uh, if you're interested in watching that, hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon and you'll know when this comes out. Uh, I plan on publishing it around mid-February so uh, keep your eyes out for that one. And last tip number five is to experiment with quick shots. Now whilst it's always a good idea to practice in manual as much as possible to get smooth footage, quick shot gives you easy access to nice smooth footage. Now at the moment there's four options, uh, Drony, Rocket, Circle and Helix. All you need to do to access this is hit the square above the record icon then go down the bottom to quick shots. All you need to do is select which quick shot you would like, select the object by pressing on the screen and then press and record. If you select Drony, the uh, drone will fly backwards and up and away from you. Now if you select Rocket, the drone will go straight up whilst recording you. If you press Circle, the drone will circle around the object. If you press Helix, the drone will spiral outwards whilst keeping focus of the object. Now the really cool thing about this is once you've selected the object, the uh, gimbal and the drone will always make sure you're in shot. And in Rocket, for example, when you're going up, the drone's gimbal will automatically adjust to make sure you're in the shot. Once you're finished, the drone will return back to you and you'll have the option to edit the video how you like. 
Now one final and a bit of a silly tip is that when I've been taking off I've been using my Mavic case as a helipad. This is particularly useful in long graphs. Uh, is this something you do? Or if you've found a better way, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you have found this video useful, hitting that like icon is a huge help to me and will help this channel continue to grow. As always, if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in the next one.